Hello everyone, hello, good evening, good evening and welcome to India's first animated live tuition. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Still I can see so many cameras off there. Quickly turn it on. It's your responsibility, right? Yes, please do turn on your camera. Yes, good evening everyone, good evening. Yes, haven't seen you for so many days, right? Did you really forget me? Uh, someone is like, yes, ma'am. Who the hell are you? No. <laughs> no, all right. So, please admit one for me. Yeah. Irish. Irish. Yes, ma'am. How are you, Irish? I'm fine. Fine. So, do you remember this chapter? Yes, ma'am. Yes, very good, very good, very good. So, still we have the camera off. We don't allow that, you know that, right? Umar. Yes, quickly turn to answer, call out the names. Umar. Umar. Umar, what's wrong with you, Umar? And Faris. Faris. Faris and Umar, quickly turn it on. The meeting is not in focus mode, man. Yeah, it's not in focus, focus mode. No, it's not. Only I and the student host can see you. Yes, ma'am? Are they saying that our meeting is not in focus mode, right? Yeah, it is in focus mode. Hmm. Yeah, it is in focus mode, right? Yeah, now we have set in focus mode. No worries. Okay. No worries. Now we. Yeah, have now is it? Today. It is in focus mode. Be comfortable in the classes, okay? Uh, yes. So, are you ready to start the class? Prepare for the class. Give me thumbs up at least. Let me check how many of you are prepared for the class really. Ah, yes, I can see those beautiful thumbs ups, but that's not enough. Have you started this chapter? And I had given one homework, right? Do you remember that? <laughs> someone is like, ma'am, I'm ready with this. Please check it out. Yeah, someone is like, ma'am, really? Are you asking that for us? Um, did you do that? Give me a hard shape if you do that. If you did that, yeah. Give me a hard shape if you did that. It was just a simple homework, right? Drawing the animals. What's so difficult in that? Even second standard students will do that. Are they? Yeah, I can see the Malayalam over there. <laughs> She's written in Malayalam too. Very good. <laughs> I seen that. Who is that, sir? The second one, first one over there? The, the first one, the first one. Yeah. Aileen. Aileen. Aileen, good job. Where's the pictures then? Oh, that's a beautiful camel. <laughs> then, only camel? <laughs> All right, good job, good job. And what about others? What about others? Can you show towards the camera then? Ma'am, I'm new. Faris? Yes, unmute him, sir. Faris, are you a new student? Yes, so where are you from, Faris? Kerala? Alright, yes, yes. So, did a new school did this chapter started? Yes, it's already started, so you have a basic idea about this chapter, right? Very good, very good, no worries. And do we have any other new students who made it for the first time here? Do we have any other new students in our class who is attending this class for the first time? No, right? Yes, only Faris. Faris, welcome to our class. What about the picture? I'm keep on asking that, right? Yes, give me some response. Show me the pictures. Where's the pictures? I only nice showed that. Show your horse picture. Sir? Show your horse picture. Uh, no, sir. No. No. Horse is not a wool eating animal. No. <laughs> all right, all right. So it seems like no one did the homework. Right? Only one student did that. Very good. I'm so proud of you. And what about the others? <laughs> yeah, annoying me in the beginning of the class itself. 
Why students, why haven't you done the homework? Mm. Give me some valid reasons for that. Do you have any reasons to tell me? Hmm. Ma'am, I don't know most of these animals in the chapter in my native language. No worries, I told you to draw the animals, right? Drawing animals is not that difficult. Drawing a camel, it's even simple, right? Well, kids and students can draw that. I'm sorry, ma'am, I did not complete. What an excuse. Wow. <laughs> And they are laughing. <laughs> Too much homework in school. Oh, school itself, you have so many homeworks. No worries, no worries. It's okay. It's okay, okay? I'm not going to scold you. No worries, okay? Be good. So, moving towards today's portion. I was busy with the school works. We haven't started this chapter in school. So many excuses. So now guys, we'll start the chapter, okay? We'll start the chapter. So fibers to fabric. What's the first thing that we have studied from this chapter? Yes, I'm going to ask the questions. If you don't answer it, definitely I'm going to give the punishments, okay? Definitely I will give the impositions. You have to write. There is no excuse that I have so many words from school, ma'am. So how can I do the homework from 90 place? I don't have time. No excuses such. No, I don't allow such excuses. So... If you answer it, very good, okay? If not, definitely I will punish you, okay? So the first thing that we have studied in this chapter was nothing but fibers, right? So what were fibers? Unmute one for me, sir. Okay, Stephen. Ah, Stephen, what was fiber? Now, before fiber, what is fabric? Yeah, tell me what is fabric now. Mm. To make clothes, using what? Using like uh, materials from animals like wool. Ah, what is those materials called? What is? Yeah, what are those materials called? Food. Fabrics. Fab. Yeah, those materials are fabrics made up of what? Fibers. Fibers. Very good. Very good. That's it. So fabrics are made from fibers which are obtained from natural or the artificial sources. Now I made one for me, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yes. Okay, Shadil. Shadil. Ah, uh, Shadil. We know fabrics are made out of fibers, right? Ah, yes, now my. Ah. What was that? I was in the previous class. You wasn't there? So you were absent in the previous session? Yes. Ah, alright. So why were you absent? No class schedule, that's not possible. That's not possible. Right? Um, Alright, don't repeat this from the next class, okay? Alright, alright. The next one, sir. Aditya. Aditya. Aditya is speaking to someone else. Yeah, he's like, the person that you're calling right now is speaking to someone else. <laughs> is it like that? <laughs> Alright, are you available now? 100 person. 100 person. So who is next to you? Oh, it's my brother. Brother. So is your brother distracting you from the class? No, 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 not at all. Ah, okay. Tell him to go away. <laughs> Alright. Don't forget to uh, answer me, okay? So what was fiber? What was fiber? What was fiber? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I have to answer? You have to answer. Uh, a fiber is a long, a narrow and flexible thread. Look at me. Uh. Sorry, ma'am? Look at me. Okay. And tell the answer. Your eyes are there and you are not big. No. Look at me and tell me the answer. 
So ma'am, uh, basically a fiber is a long narrow thread, okay, which is actually a natural substance. So uh, this fibers can also be obtained by animal uh, animal products such as camels, cows, uh, sheep, etc. And uh, that's all. And when you go and when you like, uh, so fiber is also like wool hair. It's an example of wool hair also. All right, very good. Yeah, I only asked a one word question, but he gave me an essay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the answer was very simple. That is nothing but a thin strand and thread. The answer was just that, but he gave me an essay for that. Okay, no worries. You will get full marks, but care about the time okay you will not get time if you just answer this much in your answer sheet okay <laughs> all right so this was fibers we already discussed that and we know that the fibers from fibers we make the yarn and from yarn we get the fabric okay yes we already knew those things and i'm just refreshing those things and the natural fibers right what were natural fibers the fabrics or the fibers which is obtained from nature from where nature so is it from water and the sunlight unmute one for me sir Three. the natural sources is that sun and water Sreya. the natural sources what are those? Plants and animals. The plants and animals. Very good. The fibers which is obtained from plants and animals are called as the natural fibers. And what else? Here we go. The wool, right? What was wool? The fibers which is obtained from animals were called as wool, right? And this was the portions that we covered in the previous session now let's move on to today's portion okay now i'm going to show you some animals over here okay now you're going to tell me which among these are wool yielding animals and which among these are not okay yes we have rhino dinosaur and they are fighting with each other and the dog over there is like oh i can't see all these things i will sleep ah uh, then we have llama and what is this? We have sheep and we have angora rabbit. So tell me. I'm sorry. Why? Why is tell me sorry? Abel? Abel, what's wrong? Abel. I can't hear. Abel, what's wrong? Why are you apologizing? I'm not there. I'm mistaken water. You were taking? I'm mistaken water. <laughs> Alright, no worries. No worries, okay? She can't hear because she didn't join the audio. Okay, so instructor. <laughs> yeah. Alright, alright. So, tell me in the comment box. Tell me in the comment box. Is dinosaur a wool yielding animal? Can we obtain wool from the dinosaur? Really? No, right? Yes, someone is like, yes, I'll simply do that. I can obtain wool from the dinosaur. Really? And what about rhino? Can I obtain that? Yes, sir. Unmute one for me. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Isan? Isan. Yes, Isan. Isan is picking something. What is that? Ah, yes, it's that. Which I mean, this is wool, wool yielding animal. Dog? Uh, no, why? Uh, why not dog? Dog have the fur, right? Mama, they're not the wool. They're not the wool. Why? Uh, they have the fur, right? Then why can't we obtain wool from the, um, who is that, dog? <laughs> yeah, the dogs are natural, right? Those are animals. Okay, leave the dog behind. What about llama? 
Wool can be obtained. So this is the right answer, llama. And what about the sheep? Sheep also, yes. And what about the rabbit over there? Ma'am, rabbits are very small, ma'am. How can we obtain the wool from the rabbit? Right? Yes. Yes, definitely. You're correct, ma'am. And I made one for me, say again. Okay. Uh. Noah. Noah? Where's Noah? Ah, uh, yes, Noah. Can we obtain wool from the rabbit? No. No, we cannot. So, who is telling, like, Yes, we can obtain wool from rabbit. You can just raise your hand. If you just agree with me, you can raise your hand. We can obtain the wool from the rabbit. You can just raise your hand. Three, four, only four students. Five, five, six. <laughs> now everyone is raising their hands. <laughs> yes. So definitely you are you guys are very much correct. This is called as an Angora rabbit. We can obtain wool from this Angora rabbit. That's why we are rearing them, right? So that's why we are rearing them for the making wool. So in order to obtain the wool, we must have this Angora rabbit okay from rabbit we can obtain the wool very good so these three are the animals from which we can obtain the wool so we cannot obtain the wool from dog never and not from dinosaur doesn't even exist now right yes and the rhino terror animal don't uh, ever go near the rhino okay so these are the three animals we can obtain the wool from so i hope you remember everything right can you give me a thumbs up Alright, uh, so thumbs up, very good, very good. So let's move on to this portion, okay. So actually the skin, the skin of these animals, the wool yielding animals have two layers, okay. So the animal fur is usually composed of two type of hairs, we have two layers of hair, okay. Everyone is busy writing, don't, not even listening to me, right. Yes, first listen to me. I will give time to write down everything. Okay, just listen to me first. Yes, so the animal fur will be having two layers in it. Okay, will be having two layers in it. So as you can see in this image, this is the first one, first layer, the white color one over here. As you can see, this is the first layer and this is the outer layer. Okay, so this inner layer and this is the outer layer. So these fur yielding animals will be having two layers of hair, the first inner layer and the outer layer. Okay, this will be having specific names for them. Okay, it's not like outer layer and inner layer, but they have specific names. The first one is coarse beard hair, which is nothing but the outer layer. Which is nothing but the outer layer. Okay, outer layer. So coarse beard hair is the outer layer, which is tough, rough, and hard okay it will be very hard as you can see in this image itself these are very hard right i'm sorry yeah the outer layer is very hard and i can call them as the where did i wrote that yeah the outer layer there's trouble with the slides no worries okay it's rough hard and very tough okay so when we just uh, rub their uh, body we can just feel that right it's very hard it's rough that is called as the outer layer of those skin okay outer layer of the fur is called as the coarse beard hair and we have inner layer which is called as the fine hair okay inner layer we have inner layer of fine hair which is almost closer to the skin of those animals okay fine hair is closer to the skin it is closer to the skin okay closer to the skin so what have we learned 
the animal fur will be having two layers or two type of hairs the first outer one is called as the coarse bare hair and the inner one is called the fine hair which is smooth which is very smooth okay which is very smooth in nature and i can call these fine hairs as fleece someone is like how many names do they have ma'am uh, ma'am, ma will handwriting matter? Yeah, I know my handwriting is very good. I know that. <laughs> so, the handwriting matters, okay? If you just write like this in your exam sheet, the ma'ams will be like, Oh my God, what have this? What can I read this? <laughs> uh, yes, no, ma'am. My handwriting is like KG1 student. So my handwriting is like a doctor's, okay? Not KG1. We have to proud of ourselves, right? It's like a doctor's handwriting. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> All right. So it is close to the skin, smooth inner layer. And I can call these fine hairs or the smooth hairs and the fleece, okay? Fleece. You have to remember these fleece, okay? Fleece is the one which we will be using for what say? Hand rice, yeah, yes. I made him say. Any concern? Do you have any doubt? Oh, ma'am. Uh -huh. Ma'am, what uh, when when the fine hair is uh, what do you call is burnt? Uh, the burning of the paper, paper or some something comes. Ma'am, why do they come? Where do they come? Why, 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 why? Why do they come? So, the smell of burning paper? Burning paper? What are you talking about? Mama, we burn fleece. Mama, what that the smell of burning paper comes, Mama? Ah, yes. It will. It will. We are going to learn that, okay? We have the experiment like burn those two kinds of hair. We have the experiment like that, okay? We'll do that. No worries, okay? We'll explain there. Mm, I got a question. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll discuss everything, okay? Hmm. Anyone, any other doubts? Uh, no, right? So here, the fine hairs are called as a fleece and fleece is the one which we'll be using to make the wool, okay? So fleece is the only one layer of skin which will be, not the skin, the fur which will be used to make the wool, not the coarse bare hair which is hard and rough we will not use these material for making the wool so the only thing that we will use is the fine hairs okay we will trim this off and we will take the fine hairs we will take the fine hairs okay so fine hairs is the one which will be used to make the wool okay don't ever forget this we will use the fine hairs to make them it is called as the fleece okay fleece is the one which will be using to make the wool Ma'am, so technically, technically what? Uh, coarse bare hair is uh, our bonds and fine hairs is our skin. <laughs> no, it's not like that. It's not like that. Who told you that? You just imagine that, right? <laughs> joke? Was it a joke? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> that was a joke. <clears throat> all right, all right. So... Not very funny talk, but yeah, I liked it. Okay, no worries. <laughs> we have the answers over there. Yes. Umar. Umar. Yes, Umar. 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 Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. I'm new for new to this classes, so can you please tell me what is going on and what is going on? Actually, we are watching a movie over here. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, the classes are going on. I'm really sorry. I was just joking, right? Okay, so you are a new student, right? So you just joined now? Is it the first class in 90 yes, plus? Yes. Trial class, I'm trying. Trial class, all right, all right. Welcome to our class, okay? All right, I'm dealing with the chemistry part of your science and this is the chapter fiber to fabric, okay, fiber to fabric. The first two chapters are from biology part and the third chapter is chemistry, okay, fiber to fabric. 
we are in the middle of the chapter again and I hope you know about this chapter, right? No, no idea about this? No. no. Alright, we are talking about the clothes, okay? From where does this cloth obtained from? That is what we are exactly dealing over here. The clothes are obtained from fabric, which is intake obtained from the fibers okay so that's what we are discussing over here and we are talking about the wool over here okay the first last one is the wool wool from the animals okay that's it i hope you can understand everything from the middle you're getting everything right yes ma'am do you have any issues with that no ma'am all right welcome to the class Yes, so I made one more then. So, Jumana. Do you have any health issues, Jumana? Continuously sneezing over there? Jumana? Any health issues? <laughs> All right, so are you able to follow everything? Yes, ma'am. No. Uh, yes, sir. very good, very good. Now I'm going to remove this and I'm going to ask the questions. Since everyone got everything, let me ask the questions. Yes, sir. You can unmute one. Husser. 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 <laughs> ma'am, my whole body feels numb for no reason. Yes, Kanishka, I'll get back to you. Ah. Uh, what was his name, sir? Hussein. Ah, Hussein. Yes, Hussein. I have some troubles with the names, okay? Don't mind. Hussein. Yes, ma'am. What were the two kinds of layers of the skin? What was those? Coarse, your hair. Ah? Fine hair. Fine hair. Which one will we, which one we will use to make the wool? Uh, fine. Fine hairs. Why? Why can't we use the outer layer? Not the outer layer is hard. Ah, the outer layer is very hard and rough and it will be having a so many kinds of dirt in it because it's the exposed to the surface, right? So it will be having so much dirt and the inner layer will be having very smooth layers and smooth strands. So we'll always prefer the fine layers, okay? Yes. Where's Kanishka? Kanishk, what happened, Kanishk? Kanishk is closing his door. Why, Kanishk? No disturbance. <laughs> disturbance. Okay, fine. So, what's wrong, Kanishk? What happened to your body? Are you all right? All right, all right. So, without any apparent cause, without any apparent cause, you got just numbs. Mm, all right, get well soon, okay? All right, ma'am. <laughs> yes, Kanishka, someone is really coming behind you. Open the door and left. Okay. Alright. Ma'am, can you repeat? I had some network trouble so I could not hear you. Unmute himself. Her. Right? Anya. Ma'am, my mother. Alright. Anya. Anya. Anya? Is your network alright now? Wow. Yes, which are the portions that you missed? This one, right? Wow. Yes. So, I have told you the fur of the animal will be having two layers. Okay, it's very simple. Fur of the animals will be having two layers. Okay. We'll be having an outer layer and an inner layer. Outer layer is called as the coarse beard here 
and it will be having a hard rough texture when we touch it okay when we touch it it will be having a hard rough texture and it is the outer layer and inner to that almost closer to the skin we have fine hairs okay we have fine hairs and this fine hairs will be used for making the wool and it is called as the fleece okay so something's wrong with my pen okay Alright. One second again. Okay? Alright, alright, very good. So it is called as a fleece. Okay. The fine hairs, the inner fine hairs which is close to the skin is called as a fleece and which is the one which will be used to make the wool. Okay. Unless you want the cloth made about technically not. <laughs> Kanish, get dear funny, okay? <laughs> Alright. Mm. So the fine hair and the coarse beard hair, two legs. Okay, that's the only thing that you have to remember. No words, okay? Nothing else. Two layers, coarse beard hair and the fine hair. Okay, so the first inner layer is called as the fine hair and this is the coarse beard hair which is rough and hard to touch and the inner layer is very smooth okay you can feel it right it will be very smooth and it will be one that is used for making the wool ma'am now my body feels okay just because i have talked to you right yes my voice healed you actually <laughs> kanishki like ma'am <laughs> <laughs> all right all right shall we move forward then did everyone understood and took down this ma'am i never felt it <laughs> yes got it right give me thumbs up a double thumbs up okay if you just got the just give me a double thumbs up double thumbs up ah yes i can see them okay very good very good so here we go this is how we'll take the wool out from the animals okay we'll just trim them we'll shave them okay our dads will shave the bed right likewise have you seen that ah yes right yes likewise we'll shave them okay so will they get hurt if they just shave them will they get hurt ah someone is like yes ma'am poor animals and no okay so we are handling them with a case so no worries they'll not get hurt okay so if we just cut our hair no worries right it will not be hurt so likewise the animals the fur they are just dead the dead skulls dead cells so they'll not get hurt okay no worries so that's how we'll just do them and we have so many kinds of varieties of animals okay same breeds these are different kinds of breeds of sheep okay breeds of sheep we have different kinds of them okay with the different kinds of furs we have different breeds okay so even though in our market we can see the wool which is made from the sheep uh, fur okay sheep wool we can see the sheep wool most in common in the markets in the markets the sheep wool will be most available ones okay do you have the wool dresses do you have them? No ma'am, since it's just the fur, but they will do. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, do you have the wool dresses? I have a sweater and someone is mentioning their prices. $200. Uh, who else? Who else have the wool dresses? So do you have? No, never. So the most common wool which is available in our market is sheep wool. But the fleece of this sheep is not only the source of the wool. It is not only the source of wool. What else do we have? Do we have only sheep wool? Do you think so? I have the wool jacket. We have the wool clothes ma'am. Yes. Plants. Is the wool is obtaining from the plants? Unmute himself. Paris? Where is Paris? 
Paris, can you obtain the wool from the plants? Really? No, I'm not the wool from plants and some bamboo. Uh, fabrics can be obtained from the plants but the wool is specific from the animals okay we cannot obtain the wool from the plants and never uh. so from where else we can obtain the wool okay I'm talking about the wool not the fibers not any other fabrics just the wool mm. yak then only yak camel uh. Alright, so the fleece of this sheep is not only the source of wool, we have the animal. What kind of animal is that? Is that a mammoth? Is that a mammoth? Ah, everyone is laughing. Yes, ma'am, it's a mammoth which has extended a billion years ago, right? Yes, I want to see the reaction. What kind of animal is this? How many of you are following me? Is that a mammoth? You can just raise your hand if that is a mammoth. Uh, three students have raised their hands. Ma'am, woolly mammoth. Kanishk. <laughs> Stephen, no ma'am, it's not a mammoth. It's a woolly mammoth. <laughs> Cow? A cow that has grown its hair so much. <laughs> then, any other guesses? Ma'am, it's a sheep with the two. Uh, what was that? I forgot the name. Um, I really forgot it. Can I say something? Yes, Adya. Unmute her, sir. Horses. Ma'am, a cow that hasn't taken a bath with a horse. <laughs> so, students, this is the cow or the sheep which haven't taken bath in its life long. Okay, that's why it is like this. Okay, with the dirt. Haven't taken the bath. Yuck. Yeah, definitely it's a yuck. Where's Adya? Aditya, yes Aditya, do you have anything to tell? Yes, Mama, uh, after a bit of research and reading my textbook, I found uh, why the, uh, the question I asked you earlier, right? I found the question, uh, I found the answer to that part. Okay, you got the answer, right? Can I, can I see the answer? Now? Were you listening to the class or just reading the textbook? Mama, have you asked, have you asked that, uh, what, uh, what is this? Now, like, why is it so hairy and so people are giving answers that it has not taken bath, bath for so long, it is pretty good, uh, it has grown hair, it is not taking it, it is hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. You are listening to the class at the same time, you are reading the textbook, right? Yes, ma'am. And you want to tell the answer too? Yes. Okay, fine. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, so since cotton is made for the uh, more than cellulose and only taking similar stuff. So ma'am, uh, the cellulose reacts with the atmospheric oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, water, ash, soot and some viral organic compounds. Done? Yes ma'am. <laughs> Alright, good job, good job Aditya, very good, okay? We'll learn all those things. Other students are like, what are you talking about? No worries, we'll discuss those things, okay? No worries, don't worry, don't worry. He's a bit faster than us, so he just read everything and is ready with the questions and answers too. Huh. Who is that, sir? Isan. Ah, Isan. Because the mammoth looks somewhat like the hair. Huh. Yes, ma'am, so it's a yak. It's a yak, very good. It's a yak, not the mammoth, not the cow, not the sheep, okay? It's yak. Okay, do you want to see how this yak exactly looks like? Do you want to see that? Ah, yes, yak is not actually like this, okay? It's like this. Yak is actually like this. Have you seen this animal before? Have you seen the yak before? You have seen it, right? Then why did you tell me like, ma'am, it's a cow that haven't taken bath for years and it's a... 
silky mammoth or woolly mammoth <laughs> you have told me that right I have touched forward but still I am dumb can this go wrong with you ah okay only in my textbook I have seen it ma'am Arush <laughs> you have seen them in the zoos right it will be there in zoo <laughs> All right, all right. So this is the yak which exactly looks like, and we can take them and shave them and take the wool out from it. Okay, we can take the wool out from it and we can make the wool. What else? Wool. Okay. So the yak wool is also so common in nature. Okay, yak wool. Yak wool. This color is the yak wool. And do you know what does this yak is there in common? Where can we see this yak? In our homes? Can we see them in our home? Hometown? Yeah, it's there in my studio and walking around like that, right? Not you, see <laughs> Ma'am, in our homes. Yeah. Called regions? Ladakh. Mount is <laughs> somewhere it's like zoo, ma'am. You have told me like this can be seen in zoos and why are you asking this question again? <laughs> yes, uh, ma'am, the wool is for the protection called climax. Definitely, definitely. They have the wool just because to protect their bodies. We have discussed that in the previous session, right? Yes, ma'am, movies? Yes, movies. It is there in movies. Definitely, good answer. Grasslands, hmm. snow areas, ma'am, yes, Kanish, cold areas, mountains, fair is very good, like mountain areas, that's it, right, Stephen, movies, so, actually, this yak is found in Ladakh, let me change the color of the pen, the yellow is not visible in white, so I we'll prefer the blue, Ladakh, okay, Ladakh and also in Tibet. So, this is the two places where this yak is seen in common, okay. So, in the large population, thus, yak can be seen in Ladakh and Tibet, okay. Okay, even in Nepal, okay. So, these two places, don't forget them, okay. It will be asked in your exam, okay. So, Ladakh and Tibet, Ladakh and Tibet, okay. Don't forget that. What is the other thing? Sir. Yes, I uh, Ma'am, actually, these yaks are found in mountain and very poor regions. Mm -hmm. okay, so, they actually, uh, uh, actually, this is for their own protection. Uh -huh. And they protect themselves. Uh, and they also found like, in some parts of China and India. Uh, like, Yes. Yes, for the sheep, what is sharing? I will do that. Okay, sharing is just uh, taking the uh, skin from out of from it. It's called the sharing. We have the steps okay, like following like that. A, huh? Okay, this is like a sheep farming. Sheep farming, yeah, definitely. Not farming, we are taking the uh, skin from there, right? Taking the fur from the animal, that is called as a sharing. Okay, we learned that. We learned that other thing. Just hold on. Why so hurry? We have plenty of time, right? Why are you in hurry, Aditya? Always, oh, always yeah. moving a bit ahead. Huh? Why, Aditya? I learned this, I learned this part from my father. He does everything very quickly and is multitasking every single time. So, I have a habit of... <laughs> Inheritor from your parent? Yes. yes. Alright, so we have so many other students, right? I have to make them understand everything, so wait a bit, okay? Yes, ma'am. Alright, alright, Aditi. And then, who is that? Abel, Abel. Abel, yes, Abel. Also... And also, yaks are found in Nepal and Mongolia. Ah, it is also found in Nepal, but the most common 
but we can see them in Tibet and Ladakh, okay? We can also see them in India too, but the large population is in Ladakh and Tibet. <laughs> yes, Kanishka, I think so. Ah, yes, who else, sir? Aditya, Srinivas. Aditya, the second Aditya. Okay. Ma'am, um, another question had talked. I just wanted you to go over the slide. Okay. Dreams, Shiv, Shiva. Do you want me to go back? Yes, ma'am. The sheep breeds. Breeds of sheep. Yes, ma'am. This one, right? Yes. You don't have to study them, okay? The names are a little difficult. You don't have to study them. Okay, sir, can you remove my name from there? Oh, wait a second, okay? Let me remove the name. All right, now you can take a screenshot. Do you want me to pause? All right, hope you took that. Aditya? Ah, uh, yes. Alright, done, right? Give me thumbs up if you're done, bye. Done? Aditya? Sri? Okay. And done. Alright. And the yak? We can obtain the wool, yak wool from the yak, which is obtained in the, which is the, the Ladakh and Tibet, okay, which is most commonly found in Ladakh and Tibet. And we have also one kind of cloth called mohair, okay. This is a kind of fabric called mohair, okay, fabric mohair. And from which animal we can obtain the mohair from? Ma'am, what were the types of fiber? Natural fiber and the artificial fiber. Artificial and the natural fiber. Now we are dealing with the natural fiber, not the artificial. Okay. Artificial fibers will be taken in the highest classes. Okay. Not in this class. We'll learn them in the higher classes. We are talking about the natural sources now. Yes, Arush. Very good. Very good. Arush, you got the right answer. Ma'am, it is produced. Pronounced her mohair or mohair? Mohair, okay, mohair. Yes, Kanishka, very good. Kanishka and Arsh got the right answer, and Amar also very good. Amar also got the right answer, and hmm, who else? Ma'am, it is in textbook, ma'am, really easy. <laughs> Rabbit got. So since it's the near textbook and everyone has read it, it is made from Angora God. Angora God. Okay. It's looking good, Ale. Uh, right? It's looking good, right? So good looking animal, Angora God. From the skin of this Angora God, we can obtain the mohair cloth. Okay. So in the S exam they will ask this okay in the exam definitely they are going to ask this so don't ever forget this okay this is the most important part they will ask this for the one more question so if you just forget it you will you are going to definitely lose the mark okay mohair and gora god okay don't ever don't ever forget this and gora god mohair okay uh yes got it can i say something <laughs> All right, Aditya, you can just text, text it, okay? Text it. Okay, so Angora God, from Angora God, we can get the mohair. From, we can get the mohair, okay? Mohair. Do you have this mohair cloth in your rooms or in your homes? Mohair? No? I don't know. I cannot differentiate between the clothes, ma'am. I don't really know what is mohair and what kind of other materials are. I don't really know, ma'am. Ma'am, can you please read it out loud because I want everyone to hear it. What? What do you want me to read? Aditya, what do you want me to read? Is it a yak? 
It's not a yak, it's anger at God. Hmm. I'll type that. Okay, Aditya, type it. I'll read it, okay? No worries. Yeah. Aditya has some messages to convey to you guys. So, I'm really waiting for that. Hmm. Everyone is really waiting for that. Okay. Huh. Have some messages. I know what. Chinese whisper. Yes. So I'm gonna go and Mohan. Don't ever forget it. I'm repeatedly telling this. If you just forget it, you'll lose marks. Map button zoom. Yeah. Zoom Chinese whisper. Yes. We are waiting, Aditya. Hmm. Hope you'll do that. Have you done this? I got a golden mohair. So I will read it. Okay, everyone listen to me. Everyone listen to me. Okay. Artificial fibers are also known as synthetic fibers and it is made from the crude oil and petrochemicals. I read it. Okay, Aditya. Is it fine? Or do you want me to read that again? Ma'am, how from liquid? What liquid? A Faris? What do you mean? Ma'am, sir, under him. Faris. Faris. Yes, Faris. Faris. It is not only from crude oil, okay? We have some other substance to do that too. So crude oil is the major element while we are doing that, okay? They are all synthetic, right? We can make them in the industries from the laboratories, okay? They are the man-made fibers. We humans can do anything, right? There is nothing impossible. So we can make them. Yeah, what are the examples? What are the examples? Nylon and polyester and acrylic. They are all examples for the synthetic fibers. Alright, we have rayon, nylon and um, we have polyester, acrylic, those are all examples for the synthetic fibers. You don't have to study the synthetic fibers now, okay? You study that in the 8th grade, not in this grade, okay? Only you have to study is the natural fibers which is wool and silk, okay? And also we have cotton that we have studied in the 6th standard, right? Now the only thing that we have to study is wool and silk. No other things. So Mohair and Angora got the next thing is Kashmiri got again a good looking animal like me. <laughs> Alright, so looking good, right? Kashmiri got, it's called a Kashmiri got from which we can obtain one thing. What kind of shawl, what is that? Can anyone tell me that? Yes. Can anyone tell me what kind of material that we can obtain from the Kashmiri got? What kind of material is that? Is that a silk? Can we obtain silk from it? Can we obtain silk from the Kashmiri got? What is your opinion? Can we get it? Ah, yes, we can obtain. Pashmini shawl, right? Pashmina shawl. And so the Pashmina shawl is obtained from the Kashmiri god. So the beautiful shawl is made out from the wool of the Kashmiri god. We woven this wool together to make the beautiful Pashmina shawl. So can you just imagine that we can get this beautiful shawl from that skin of the coat? Oh, it's so great, right? We humans are so great and intelligent. So, who invented this, right? The shawl can be obtained from the god. I can't even imagine that. Yes, we are great. Ma'am, only shawl. We can, the shawl, this is the material, right? The, from this material, we can obtain so many other things. Yes, if you want to stitch the cloth or the top out of it, you can. Okay, yes. Kashmir, yes, Kashmiri God and Pashmina Shaw. 
<laughs> you may get confused with these names but there is no other way you have to study this both of them are very much correct kashmiri or k it's very much correct we can also pronounce it like kashmir okay we can also spell it like kashmir but this one is also correct okay kashmir or this one both of them are very much correct kashmiri or kashmir both of them are very much correct okay ma'am can you read this which one aditya again are you researching avadir aditya are this really researching something hmm. all right so kashmiri god and pashmina shawl okay yes the next thing is alpaka and lama we have two friends so they belong to the family camel okay they belong to the camel family okay so camel alpaka and lama they are all belong to the camel family they are all like cousins okay so this alpaka and lama they looks like right so they are the cousins alpaka and lama actually they are not together okay only in this image i have put them together to just show you the difference between the alpaka and lama they are not together okay don't ever get confused with that they are not at all together okay yes even though they are cousins they are far from each other so alpaka and lama okay and they are found in the south america both of them are found in south america but they are not close to each other even though they are cousins the camel camel is also one of the cousin to them okay alpaca and lama belong to the ma'am alpaca are cute really i feel like lama is more cute than alpaca right are they same no they are not same they are not same they are different species they are different species from the same family okay yes L uh, lama looks like a horse compared to alpaca ah uh, yes almost not ah uh, almost not at all yeah alpaca is cuter rabbit is more cuter than both of them ah uh, best ma'am what uh, what other please ma'am what other please what other please no ma'am donkey oh, yeah it's almost looking like donkey yes definitely it's almost looking like donkey not the horse okay fine so the alpaca and lama belong to the camel family and they are looking alike just because they are cousins okay but they found in south america they found in south america in the colder regions in the colder regions we can just find them okay yes both of them are cute definitely both of them are cute like me yeah both of them are cute they're like ma'am enough yes dogs are cuter definitely dogs are cuter than them definitely dogs are very cute yes kanish dogs are cute yes so alpaca and lama we can also obtain the wool from alpaca and lama okay we can also obtain the wool from alpaca and lama they are found in the south america and they belong to the camel family these are the things that you have to remember over here okay so from angora got we what kind of fabric that we can obtain ma'am cats or dogs which are cuter definitely dogs right am i right dogs or cat whom do you like the most dogs or cat we can uh, really take a uh, poll over there yes dogs or cat dogs or cat uh, let me check how many of you really like dogs and cats cat everyone is going for cat i also go for cat <laughs> no dogs are more royal yes definitely raise your hand if you like the dogs raise your hand if you like the dogs Ma'am, I have a cat. Ma'am, alpaca and llama both produce the same material. No, they have different kinds of materials. No, they are not the same. I love them both. Dog forever. Yes, I love them both. Ma'am, I have a cat. Ah, uh, dogs are more smarter, smarter, but cats are cuter. No. Ah, uh, we have so many dog lovers and doggy boy. <laughs> yeah kanish is not a cowboy he is dog boy 
I don't know what he meant by but he is a dog by it seems. <laughs> all right, all right. So, ma'am, yes, Kanishka, I'm listening. All right, so you like the cat and dog at the same time. So many hand rises, I'm sad. Yeah, they are raising their hands because they are all dog lovers. Yes, dog wins. <laughs> Yay, you can applaud your hands. Give a big round of applause for doggies. Yay. Dogs are better, always. So dogs are like they love us and unconditionally, unconditionally they just love us. And cats are like, cats feel like we are the pets to them and they are like, <laughs> they doesn't respect us at all. Right, the cats are like, um, we are the pets to them and they will be the owners. But dogs are not like that. Dogs are very lovely, right? <laughs> Ma'am, cats are like, give me food, okay, now I'm done by it. <laughs> yeah. My cat will bite me, definitely. Uh, don't pet her. Ma'am, do we have, do we have it? Do you have a dog? Yeah, that's really a sad story. I don't want to tell that read. Hello, sir. May I have food, sir? <laughs> After that, thank you, sir. <laughs> Yeah, the cats are really like that. But the dogs, they are so loyal to us, right? Dogs are so loyal. The cats will be so... They doesn't even care us. That's the matter. They will ask like, who are you? Remove, move away from my place. That's their attitude. Our cats are cute. No issues with that, but... Oh, this long essay in the comment box. Ma'am, this is a very famous meme. Gods are like the persons feed me, bath me, and want me. They must be or cat like this person feed me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yes. <laughs> Definitely. So, can you forward that comment to everyone? Yeah, Stephen, have a comment, okay? I liked it. I liked it. So it will be forwarded to everyone. Okay, it will be forwarded to everyone. <laughs> All right. So what goes for dogs? Dogs win. So here we go with alpaca and llama, wool yielding animals. We are talking about alpaca and llama. They will be our fans from today onwards because they can only give marks for us. Okay, dogs cannot give marks for us, but the alpaca and llama can. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I know this, ma'am. It's true, ma'am. Yes, it's true. Definitely it's true. So, we can obtain this kind of wool from alpaca and the llama. And here we go. What are the next thing that we have to study? From fiber to wool. So, we have studied about the fibers. Okay. Now, we have to study how does this wool actually obtained from the fibers? So, that is exactly what we are going to study now. Okay, wool. So how does this process work? So how do they make this wool out from? Let's learn this. Okay. It's true, ma'am. Not ma'am. Okay. Alright. Uh, the bad thing about llamas are they just would spit if you make them angry. Yes, I have seen it in some reels. Yes, they'll spit on you. Definitely it will. Hmm. All right, all right. Are you all ready for this? Are you all ready to start this topic? Give me a thumbs up if you want to. Ah, yes. So, from fibers, the wool is the next topic that we are going to deal now. And the first thing that we have to study here is nothing but rearing and breeding of sheep. Rearing and breeding of sheep is the next thing that we have to study. Okay. Rearing and breeding. So what exactly is rearing? So what is rearing now? Can you have a guess? What was rearing? Can you have a guess? What is rearing? Rearing is taking the wool? No. Rearing is not taking the wool. Uh. Yes. Anyway, you can admit anyone. Say. Stephen. Ah, uh, Stephen. Stephen? Yeah. 
Yes, ah, yes, very good. The grow, growing the sheep is called as a rearing. We have to take care of the external needs of those animals, right? Then only we can get the sheep, the wool from the sheep. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is just grow them. Okay, it's the sheep. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is just feed them we have to feed those animals right if we just keep them in a cage will they grow no right we have to feed them so what will we do we'll just leave them in an open field we'll just leave them in an open field so that they can eat the leaves or the grass or however they want whatever they want and whenever they want okay so it's according to their wish if they want to eat them they can okay they will just store those foods and they will digest it later okay we'll study that in biology not in chemistry part okay so we'll study that in biology okay so here we go we will leave them in an open field so that they can leave, uh, eat the grass so freely okay so we'll just leave them in an open field so that's what the first step is feeding the animal feeding the animal they can run away no they'll be surrounded with the two or three dogs again dogs are up here over here so the dogs will lead them have you seen that uh, there's one cartoon i forgot about the cartoon name um shark the shape yes there you can see one dog here on the right have you seen that have you seen that animation or the cartoon Stop. yeah have you seen that cartoon Shaun the sheep is very good, right? In Nick, it's not there now, I guess, right, sir? Is it stopped? It stopped, right? Yeah. So in the olden days, it was there. Shaun the sheep. It was very good. It was very good. So there will be a dog which will be leading them, and we also uh, the shepherds will also be there, right? So the sheep cannot run away. They are close to each other, so they will not run away. Okay, no worries. No, it's still there in YouTube. New episodes are coming in YouTube. All right, all right. New episodes are being uploaded in the YouTube. You can just go and watch there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not promoting that. If you have time, you can just go and watch that. Okay. And you can cool your mind if you want. Are the dogs trained? Definitely, the dogs will be trained. The trained dogs will be assisting the guards or the sheep. Uh, new episodes are coming. Yes, it's very good. I like that cartoon very much. And which is your favorite cartoon? Which is your favorite cartoon? Let me know. A retriever. Retriever. I like the retriever most. Yes, our uh, golden. Because they are so cute and they are so friendly to us. So I like the retriever. Um, Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo? <laughs> then, Tom and Jerry. Ma'am, what's the meaning of sharing? Taking the skin up from the uh, sheep is called the sharing. Marsh and the bear. It's a very good cartoon. Marsh and the bear. I like the most. Yes, Marsh and the bear. Uh, what is that, Ellen? Ellen, me this whole time I was messaging the mess, the don't message person. <laughs> ah, sure. Ellen <laughs> was like messaging to don't message, and is, she's not getting any replies, and she soon realized that, oh, this is not where I post the comments, and she really came back over here. Uh, Pitbull retriever. And Dalmatian, Dalmatian, yeah, I like the Dalmatian too. We have 101 Dalmatian movie. Have you watched that Dalmatian movie? 101, right? 101 Dalmatian, is that right, sir? 101 Dalmatian, yes. Ma'am, too cute, I love them. Yeah, I love them too. So, let's get back to the potion, okay? Let's back to the potion. Motu <laughs> Patlu. I haven't watched that cartoon because it's in Hindi. I can't understand Hindi, so I never watched Motu and Patlu. 
Okay. Paw Patrol. Ah, Paw Patrol is there's a cartoon there. Yeah, I know that. Alright. <laughs> Ma'am, what's your language? What's my language? For a guess. What it will be? I have told, actually I have told one word in between the class and I was realizing that, I, oh, I was talking English, then why I am talking in my native language. Everyone knows it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's Malayalam, okay? Yeah, Malayalam. It's my native language. Alright. So, my question again, what do sheep eat? Burger, pizza, sandwiches, right? Am I right? Will the sheep eat burger? Food. Uh, someone is like, food ma'am. Sheep will eat food, not anything else. Mm. What is, what is? <laughs> yes sir, you can unmute. Amar. 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 Ma'am, ma sheep would normally, sheep would normally eat the grass and the leaves if you leave it in the open field. So why can't they, why can't they eat the burgers? Ma'am, it can't eat the burgers at all because it is an animal. It's an animal. But the dog, dog can eat the burger, right? If we give burger to dog, is it will eat. Yes, Still, dog. the dog is an animal, right? Dog will eat because it is omnivorous. It eats both flesh and uh, plants. But the sheep is herbivore, uh, so so she will eat uh, only plants. That's the exact answer that I required. Very good, very good. So. The sheep will only eat the plants and vegetables and because it's a vegetarian. Okay, it's herbivorous, it's herbivorous. Don't even eat the worms. Okay, so it's herbivorous. So they will eat the grass, they will eat the leaves and the flowering plants and the legumes and the flowering plants, their favorite ones. If you just grow the flowering plants in our homes, the goats will be like, yay the food and they'll just come and eat everything. And our mom's like, oh, go away from here. So they will get scalded from our pants, right? So they will, they, the flowering plants are the favorite ones to the sheep and the gods. And also the cows, they will just eat everything, right? So the grass leaves, legumes and the flowering plants because they are herbivores. Ma'am, what are legumes? They are the seeds, okay? They are the seeds or the peas. Peas, the mixed peas are the legumes. Yes, ma'am, I would have the Dalmatian on my lap right now if you were in for my mother. What was that? She hates animals. Yeah, my mom too. She hates the animals. Not hating, she doesn't like them. Okay, the only thing she likes is the fish. So the fish cannot touch her, right? So she like only the fishes. She's very much like to grow, um, grow the um, fishes and not the dogs. Ah, not birds. Uh, hibiscus is the most favorite of sheep. Yes, hibiscus. Humans. Sheep will not eat humans. No, never. <laughs> will sheep eat humans? <laughs> really? <laughs> no. I never said that. Alright, so the animal, not the animals, these sheep, sheep and cow, they are all herbivores, okay, they are not, they will not eat the meat, they are herbivores, not, they will really not eat any other animals, they will just eat the leaves and the plants, okay, they are herbivores. Ma'am, why is flowering plants is favorite? Because they are beautiful, right? It's looking good. So burger is my favorite. So I cannot ask like why burger is your favorite ma'am. It's just favorite. Okay. I don't know. The flowers. It will be tasting good. I haven't tasted the flowers. So it must be tasting good. So that's why they are going after the flowering plants. Yeah. That might be the reason. Now. 
This sheep can be also fed with these kind of foods too. So we have corn. The sheep is very much favorite with the corn. So the corn and java and the mixture of pulses and oil cake. What is oil cake? Is it a plum cake? What is oil cake? Is it a plum cake students? How much burgers you eat today? No, I cannot eat burgers daily. No, I will not do that. Uh, Ma'am call cake? Ma'am mud? Mud? Will the sheep eat mud? Really? What is oil cake? Hmm. Yes, Kanishk. Cake made out of oil. <laughs> no. They are chocolates. No. They are solid oil. No. Did you say Colgate? <laughs> Not Colgate. Oil cake. <laughs> Call kit in the closet. <laughs> Fried leaf. No. Crust of the earth. No. No. Plants and animal matter. No. <laughs> then what is? No. None of the answers are correct. Cake with the oil. No. Ma'am, Lindsay, no, no. Ma'am, can she eat vegetarian burger? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> you came in right time, ma'am. Ma'am, the sheep can they eat vegetarian burger? And no, it will not eat the vegetarian burgers. No, they will not eat. Peanuts, food, mass of compressed lean dirt, plant material that after oil has been extracted. Stephen must have been, uh, Stephen must have been uh, researched it in Google, I guess. So the oil cake is nothing but we have some kind of materials, right? For example, let's take the coconut. Are you coming, ma'am? She left. All right. Yeah, I haven't seen the one part one too. So the oil cake, oil cake is nothing but we have the coconut, right? Right after taking the oil, we have the leftover part, right? After taking oil, we'll be having leftover part, which is nothing but the oil cake. Okay, oil cake. Did you got it now? Did you got it now? Yes, we can obtain the oil from the uh, coconut, right? After taking all the oil from the coconut and the leftover things are called as the oil cake. Likewise, we have so many other kinds of materials from which we will take the oil and we will end up with some kind of material and that is nothing but the oil cake which will be fed with the sheep and the other cows, okay? So this is a major kind of food for this and this kind of animals. And mixture of pulses and the ginjava and corn are the other kinds of food that the sheep will eat. Ma'am, you did not let me answer, ma'am. Ma Sir, unmute Kanishk. Kanishk, yes, you can answer it now. You already answered. All right, all right. So. Well, I think every, everything is clear. Now, the next thing that we have to learn is breeding. Okay, we don't have enough time for that. So, what are the things that we have learned today? What are things? Only simple, simple things, right? We have only barely read two, three sentences and some kind of names, right? That's it. Not much. So, I hope you remember everything. Ma'am, what is Java? Jowl is kind of a plant material like corn itself. Okay, like corn, there's a material like Jowl too. I don't know what's the Malayalam word or the other language native words for Jowl. I don't really know that. Yes. So, shall we do the exam then? I barely wrote four sentences. Yeah, that's all we have studied today. It's not much. Not even one page map. Yes. Because the chemistry part is so much simple. These are simple, dimple things. You can just read it and learn everything. 
Yes, so, so, shall we begin the exam now? Are you all ready for that? Are you all ready for that? Really no ma'am. It's simple, right? I have only provided with a simple, simple, simple questions. You have to get 10 out of 10. Otherwise, I'll not do anything, okay? No worries. I'm not diet driven. I'll not do anything. So are you ready to do the exam? Uh, sir, can you just go down? So just scroll down. Me mm, this whole time and don't miss the first. No. <laughs> Have reached somewhere. I I wish you teach physics. Why Kanishk? You don't like chemistry? I do. Then why do you want me to teach the physics? <laughs> but I like physics more. Yeah, the Manor sir will be coming. Okay, no worries. Manor sir will be coming to take the physics. Ma'am, I got 10 on 10. Very good. It's activated. Okay, the exam is activated. No worries. Hmm. Thank you, Karishk. Very good. 10 on 10. And no more 10 on 10. How to do it? Just go back from the tab and you will get a blue option over there to just attend the exam. Okay, just right after joining the class, you'll be having a blue color option over there. Just press it and attend the exam. Just go back from the tab, you'll get it. Okay, first the quiz. Go back from the tab, you'll get it. Aileen, 10 on 10. And Mohammed, it's a 5 stick. <laughs> 10 on 10. Okay. Ma'am, where is quiz? Yeah, listen to me. Just go back from the tab. If you doesn't get it, just refresh it. Okay, just refresh it again. You'll get it. A blue color option will be there. Okay. Right after joining the class, thousand on thousand, which is the same as ten on ten. <laughs> Kanishk, why? You were joking. Yeah, I was shocked. Four? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, all right. Where is the link? Listen to me, students. So just go back from the tab. So while you join, just below to the joining button, you will be having a blue color notification like attend the exam and just press it and attend the exam. I'm not getting it. Refresh it. Refresh it. Refresh the page. You will get a refresh the page. Meanwhile, I'll read the questions again. Okay, so the first question was, wool fiber cannot be obtained from which of the following? Got, llama, alpaca and moth. The second question, which of the following fiber is obtained from Angora got, Mohan wool, alpaca wool, Kashmiri wool and none of the above. Which of the following are wool yielding animals of the camel family? Alpaca and yak, alpaca and llama, llama and yak, and none of the above. And yak wool is common in India, America, Tibet, and China. And which of the following wool yielding animal is suitable for making pashmina shawls? Kashmiri goat, Angora goat, llama, and alpaca. Everyone got it, I guess, right? Anyone have any issues with the exam? Any issues? Or are you all done with the exam? Shall we discuss the questions? And I'll leave you students. Ma'am, too easy exam, ma'am. What kind of questions are they? It's too easy. I need time. Okay, take your own time. Not on time. It's only 10 minute exam, okay? Too easy, yeah, too easy. So these emojis, uh, not the emojis, these gifs are for the cat lovers, okay? Indicated to the cat lovers. Too easy. Give me a thumbs up if you are done with the exam. Give me a thumbs up, let me check how many of you have done it. Yes. 
Ma'am, I learned magic tricks. Can I see your magic trick? Easy peasy lemon cuisine. <laughs> Very good. Uh, can you uh, remove the blood effect? So can we pin him to everyone? Shall, shall I pin you to everyone so that they can also see the magic trick? Shall I do that? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, can you see him, everyone? Can you see Kanishk? Ah, yes. Kanishk, you are on focus mode. Everyone can see you. Ah, here, he's doing one magic trick, okay? Everyone. Hmm. You can just unmute yourself. You can just unmute. Hmm. Yes. Everyone, here we go with the magic trick. Ta da! Yes. I had to pick one from that. Virtually pick one. Yeah, I picked it. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's the only one that I've chosen. Yes. Very good. All right, all right. Ah. Don't cheat, okay? <laughs> yeah, I was just joking. I was just joking. Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Yeah. Yeah, three packs. Shuffling, okay. Shuffling, just shuffling. Yeah. Do you want me to tell the card number? Yes, ma'am. Really? Yes, ma'am. Three. Three. Okay, <laughs> Something went wrong, I guess. Really? Yeah, that was the card that I picked. Why? You picked that card from there and put it above, right? No, 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 I was shuffling. You were shuffling and shuffling again and picked one. Okay. Let me check. No, no, just pick from that card. Pick the three, the third one. Let me check. No, 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 that, is <laughs> that should be possible. You're a magician, right? No, no, no. <laughs> just, just pick the card. No, no, no. It was three with a heart. No. <laughs> you got it wrong. <laughs> All right, thank you for the magic trick. Learn something else in the next class and show it us. Okay, show it to us. Thank you so much. It was very good. Very good. Keep on learning, okay? Keep on learning. Never stop it. Okay, keep learning. Okay. Have to show me another trick in the next class, okay? All right. So here we go, the first question, you are going to show me the answers, okay? You are going to show me the answers, are you ready for that? Ah, yes. So the whole fiber cannot be obtained from which of the following? I want to see everyone's answer, not just two or three, I want to see everyone's answer. Moth, very good, yellow, no, no yellow. Okay, it is again the yellow. Wait a second, okay, let me change the color. 
Ik heb het niet. Ik heb het is moot. Het is moot. Oké. Okay? Silver, which cannot be obtained from us, nothing but the moat. Which of the following fibers obtained from the anchor record? Very good, it is Mohai Bowl. It is Mohai Bowl. And which is the third one? Which of the following is the wool yielding animal of the camel family? Definitely alpaca and llama. I have told you right, they are the cousins. So alpaca and llama are the right answer. So yak wool is common in. Yak wool is common in what? Very good. It is found in Tibet. Tibet. Very good. Now, which of the following wool yielding animals suitable for making pashmina shawls? Kashmiri got a very good, very good. And thank you so much. These are the five questions and you all got 10 on 10. I'm so happy to hear that. And thank you so much for listening to me. And don't forget to study everything, okay? Please do study everything. I hope the class was useful to you. Am I right? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you were happy in the class. Ah, very good, very good. And I will see you the next class is nothing but tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow is the next class. So I will see you tomorrow. Until then, take care and bye-bye. Good night.